Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on one dimensional heat equation. In today's session, we are going to deal with type 3. Those who don't watch the basic videos on 1D heat equation, go to the playlist and learn the basics and then watch type 1 that is problems with zero boundary values and next watch the type 2 that is steady state conditions and zero boundary conditions. In today's session, we are going to deal with type 3 that is steady state condition and non-zero boundary condition. Let us go into the problem. The two ends of the rod with 30 centimeter length are kept at 20 degree Celsius and 80 degree Celsius on two sides until it attains steady states. The temperature at the end B is suddenly reduced to 60 and the temperature at the end A is suddenly increased to 40 degree Celsius from 20 degree. Now find the temperature distribution of the rod after time t. So here we can see the four key states of the rod. Initial state like before time t equal to 0 when the content is given to us at the end A it is fixed as 20 degree Celsius. At the B end it is fixed as 80 degree Celsius. So the temperature distribution at initial time is u of x comma 0. Now let us have the visualization of this problem. So two ends are considered to be A and B. The length is 30 centimeter and the left end is x equal to 0. The right end is x equal to 30. At A, the temperature is maintained as 20 degree Celsius and B, the temperature maintained as 80 degree Celsius. Next, suddenly there is a change at time t equal to 0. So, they are increasing the temperature one side and decreasing the temperature to the other side. At the end A, the temperature is increased from 20 degree Celsius to 40 and at the end B, the temperature is reduced to 60 degree Celsius from 80. So now the system is out of equilibrium because initially it was in steady state. Now we are increasing and decreasing the heat on two different sides. So this is the beginning of transition process. Now let us visualize this. So now we have two ends A and B. One end is x equal to 0 and the other is x equal to 30. All these things are same. Now the temperature is raised to 40 from 20 on A and other side it is reduced to 60 from 80 on B. Since the temperature is raised on one side and reduced on the other side, the transition process begins. Now it is not in a steady state. When T greater than 0, the temperature on every point is changing with time. So now the heat is started to redistributed on the rod. After some time, T, it will reach the final steady state. There will be a new equilibrium is established. Now let us say this final steady state temperature as Us of x. Hope you understand. Now let us go into the steps. First we have to calculate the initial steady state. So we see the diagram. Initially the temperature is 20 degree on end A and 80 degree on end B. The steady state heat equation is T2 minus T1 divided by L into X plus T1. So it is nothing but 80 minus 20 divided by L is 30 into X plus 20. Simplifying this, we get U is 2X plus 20. This is initial steady state. So, I am taking this as U of X comma 0 is equal to 2X plus 20. This U of X comma 0, it is going to be my F of X. Next, let us check the final steady state because this is non-zero steady state problem. The temperature is not moved to 0. The temperature is raised one side and then reduced other side. So, let us find the final steady state. The new temperature is 40 and 60 on the sides A and B. Now, let us find U 60 minus 40 divided by 30 into x plus 40. Simplifying this, we will get 2 by 3x plus 40. So, this u is the final steady state. So, let us take this as us. So, us of x is equal to 2x by 3 plus 40. Now, step 2 as usual, write the one dimensional et equation that is ut is equal to alpha square u double x and alpha square is kappa divided by rho c. Here we have two steady states. The first one is initial steady state and the next is final steady states. So the solution may be 
written as u of x comma t is equal to final steady state plus the transient state and now the most suitable solution is going to be a cos lambda x plus b sin lambda x into e power minus lambda square alpha square t this is for ut of x comma t and for the final state just now we found that is 2x by 3 plus 40 so this is my most suitable solution in the previous problem the final state is moved to 0 degree celsius so this is simply 0 so that is the difference between type 2 and type 3 now let us take this as equation 1 next we are going to write the boundary and initial conditions so after the initial steady state at the end of the rod a the temperature is 40 degree celsius and at the b the temperature is 60 degree celsius therefore the first boundary condition u of 0 comma t is going to be 40 and the second boundary condition u of l comma t at the other end is going to be 60 degree celsius for both t greater than or equal to 0 next initial condition u of x comma 0 we just found 2x plus 20 for all x lies between 0 to l here l equal to 30 both boundary and initial conditions are ready now we have to solve the problem so let us take the equation 1 apply 1 in 1 the first boundary condition is u of 0 comma t equal to 40 degree celsius so put x equal to 0 in equation 1 we get this the left hand side is 40 degree celsius on the right hand side we can see 0 plus 40 plus a cos 0 plus b sin 0 we know cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0 so a into e power minus lambda square alpha square t now we can cancel this 40 on both sides and then we get a into e power minus lambda square alpha square t equal to 0 since e power minus lambda square alpha square t cannot be equal to 0 if this is 0 then my solution will become 0 therefore the only chance is a equal to 0 so we found a equal to 0 now we have to substitute this in 1 so that we can get the b term alone so u of x comma t is equal to 2x by 3 plus 40 plus b sin lambda x into e power minus lambda square alpha square t let us take this as equation 2 now we have to apply 2 in 2 the second boundary condition is u of l comma t is equal to 60 for my convenience i am taking this as l after solving the problem i will substitute l equal to 30 to avoid the mistakes in calculations now applying the boundary conditions the left hand side is 60 on the right hand side the length of the rod is 30 so 2 into 30 divided by 3 plus 40 plus b into sin lambda l e power minus lambda square alpha square t so we get 60 is equal to 20 plus 40 plus b sin lambda l e power minus lambda square alpha square t so this 60 will cancel with the right hand side and we get 0 equal to b into sin lambda l into e power minus lambda square alpha square t now the same thing already in the previous case we said e power minus lambda square alpha square cannot be 0 if this is 0 then my u of x comma t will become 0 on the other hand we already made a equal to 0 if you make b also 0 then if both are 0 then my solution will become 0 so b cannot be 0 the only thing is sin lambda l is 0 and we know that sin n pi equal to 0 in general for any positive integer therefore lambda l is equal to n pi and lambda is equal to n pi by l this is what we found from the second boundary condition now substitute lambda in 2 so we get like this now let us take capital b equal to bn before applying the condition 3 we have to write the most general solution the most general solution i can write this as 2x by 3 plus 40 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity bn sin n pi x by l e power minus n square pi square alpha square t by l square so in some books the author will take this as capital bn that is b as capital bn 
and when they solve the problem they will assume this bn is equal to small bn so both are correct i am directly taking this as small bn this is my most general solution now let us apply 3 in 3 now applying the initial condition u of x comma 0 is equal to f of x that is 2x plus 20 in 3 since t equal to 0 then e power minus 0 will become 1 so this whole term will become 1 and then we get the remaining terms now we have to apply the f of x value and then we have to simplify the left hand side and the right hand side so we get 2x minus 2x by 3 plus 20 minus 40 is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l that is nothing but 4x by 3 minus 20 it looks like a new f of x so this is nothing but half range four year sin series so we have to find b n here f of x is given and the limits are 0 to l so let us write the formula b n is 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x sin n pi x by l dx here f of x is 4x by 3 minus 20 now we have to apply bernoulli's formula hope you remember u v minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 etc here we have x term the power is 1 so we are going to get only two terms so u is 4x by 3 minus 20 u dash is 4 by 3 and u double dash is 0 on the other side dv is sin n pi x by l dx when we integrate we get v equal to minus cos n pi x by l and the constant n pi by l in the denominator v1 again differentiating cos we get minus sin n pi x by l in the denominator we get n pi by l whole square now we have to substitute in the bernoulli's formula uv u dash v1 remaining terms are zero now we can see this and it is very easy to see whenever we see a sine function sine zero is going to be zero when you substitute l it will become sin n pi since all ns are positive integer this term will become zero so this is zero we have to deal only the first term so we can rewrite this as 2 by l and i can take this minus outside so minus 2 by l into l by n pi now if you apply the upper limit we will be getting 4l by 3 minus 20 cos n pi minus when you substitute the lower limit it will become 0 minus 20 into cos 0 so cos 0 is going to be 1 now simplifying this we get minus 2 by n pi 4l by 3 minus 20 cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n minus into minus plus so we get 20 now it's time to substitute the l value because we have completed the problem if we substituting l equal to 30 we get minus 2 by n pi 40 minus 20 into minus 1 whole power n plus 20 now i can take the 20 outside so my bn is going to be minus 2 by n pi into 20 1 plus minus 1 whole power n so this is my bn so if you are taking the notation capital bn now we have to map the small bn to capital bn otherwise you can directly substitute the most general solution is there we have to substitute the bn value that is minus 40 by n pi 1 plus minus 1 whole power n this is my final solution here we have to substitute l equal to 30 so l square is going to be 900 hope you understand students thanks for watching Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.